Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear view, and today I'm talking optic mounts. This little guy right here, which is the offset red dot mount, the Rook by Valhalla Tactical. Starting with the what, what is it? It is just that. It is a offset mount for some type of red dot, in this case a RMR, that has a lot of kind of flexibility to it as far as where you want to mount it and it can be mounted more or less kind of at any angle to include on the left side of the gun if you want to set it up for left-handed shooting and on top of that has all kinds of different mounting plates for pretty much all of your different little red dots whether exposed emitters like this like rmr type 2 or even some of your closed emitters like some of the offerings from hollow sun when it comes to the purpose of this basically to give you two different aiming options depending on your optic selection by way of example on here i have this eotech voodoo 5x25 and if you're going to make shots up close not the ideal solution even on five power even illuminated not that practical or very quick can it be done absolutely but this lends itself to that or even if you have a low power variable whether it's a one to six, one to eight, if usually that thing is cranked up for target ID or engaging targets at distance, this allows you a really quick, easy way to basically engage targets up close. So rather than shouldering the weapon behind the optic, which you would usually, you simply cant it, you immediately have your red dot, in this case, this RMR, comes into your field of view, allows you to make those quick shots up close. Some of you are probably like, why would I even want that with a low power variable, especially like a one to six, something like that. Well, I will say it is faster to go from here to right there than it is to come up, adjust that, and then regrip the weapon. That is one use case, but when it comes to me and how I've used it, one of the places this really shines, especially with a low power variable, night vision. So I actually shot this, well, optic setup as far as the Rook and the RMR on my Knight's Armament SR25 with a attacker one to eight. Great glass until the lights go out and you're using knots. Even though it does have a night vision setting, in my experience, it does not work very well or is it very quick or easy to use. Conversely, this RMR, with this offset rook amazing allows you to immediately bring your gun up can it to the side break those shots under night vision really really easy easy to use and in addition to that i've also definitely shot on this gun but it's one of those where maybe low light situations where you're somewhere where you need to make a quick shot and depending on what your magnification set at way easier to just turn this thing have pretty open field of view get your sight picture and break your shots using that offset red dot and at the end of the day it's a red dot so whatever you are comfortable shooting a red dot out to you can absolutely engage with it usually i'll actually zero this thing in 100 just because it's usable pretty much zero to 100 pretty easy and if I need to push past that, I could, but I would obviously, time and opportunity, use my magnified optic. Overall, I've been really pleased with it. A couple different levels. One, just the flexibility of angle. Some scopes, you will have basically your windage over here on the side, and they will stick out further than others. So that comes into play, or for that matter, just how big of a objective lens you have on your optic this isn't like oh well you can use it but it needs to x blah 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 like no you can pretty much mount this anywhere and adjust it to any angle to include if you want put it over on the left side i will say when it's mounted on here you get whatever side it's mounted on there so i'm not saying you couldn't transition shoulders and then come over and do something like this for me that's really awkward where does that come into play well, largely in the shoot house. So if you are comfortable doing shoulder transitions, one of the things it allows is ultimately 
coming around corners and exposing less of your body. But with that, and if you have a magnified optic, you're pretty much stuck on both corners, basically with whatever shoulder it's set up for, which it is what it is. Is that your paradigm? If so, you'll obviously train to it. For most people, probably not much of an issue. If you're running a low powered variable optic or some sort of magnified optic and you want that ability to make up close shots quickly, I think this thing is invaluable. Or like I said, if you're using a low power variable, but you're going to be doing shooting at night, really, really nice. Just can't this thing, break your shots under knots versus even if the thing has a night vision setting, trying to get your eye box and everything like that with some sort of low power variable. Really, really handy. Price wise, looking at about, about 250 bucks, but I think it's solid and a really good fit, especially for the flexibility with respect to mounting, depending on how you want it mounted. And yeah, overall, pretty rad product. But if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon. Helps me go out, create more content for you. And over on Patreon, you usually get early access to videos, some exclusive content, and access to Discord. If you have questions for me, happy to answer them over there. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadge.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.